Alright guys, what's up? With this video, I want to kill two birds with one stone. A lot of people ask me about what's in my dashboard, people ask me what's in my doc, so instead of making two separate videos, I'm just going to combine them into one so you get the whole package, I guess you can say. Uh, I'll start off with my doc down here. Um, people have asked me how do I put spacers in. There is a terminal command, I don't remember it, and um, I used to have it a different color too. I do with all one application called Docker, which I love using. It's very handy. It's a freeware application, so download it if you like it. But right now my doc is pretty plain. Uh, except with the exception of spacers. I've actually divided my doc into different, I guess, categories of applications I use, so I'll describe that later on. Starting off, I have Finder and uh, Dashboard, and then next uh, I have my web browsers. Uh, Safari is my main browser, my main web browser, while Firefox is the alternative. Safari has been crashing a lot lately, though, so I've been going to Firefox, which is pretty reliable, uh, but both have been kind of iffy since an update. I don't know what's up with it. Uh, next is my communications, I get you say applications iChat, Tweety, and Gmail. Uh, it's actually the mail application, but I just put a little icon there because I thought it matches well with the iCal. But it's just the native mail application that comes with Leopard. You can find the icon really easily. I think I have from Interface Lip. Just search Gmail if you want to change it. Next is my word processing, I guess, and uh, school organization, which is iCal, Pages, and uh, TextEdit. I actually uh, keep TextEdit in the doc because it's really handy for outlines. I really hate how Pages and Microsoft Word um, auto format. I guess I don't know how to like cancel all the formatting when I'm doing outlines for history class. So TextEdit keeps it simple. Next is my multimedia, which is iTunes, VLC, iPhoto, and iMovie 09. Moving on to my utilities with Spaces, Time Machine, System Preferences, App Cleaner, and then my screen recording software. Uh, I really love App Cleaner. It's a great application. Um, it's free. It's really simple. It can delete more than just applications. You can do wallpaper, screensavers, widgets, all in the application. Or you can just drag the actual application on top of the icon in your dock, and it will give you the option to delete the P list or whatever you want to delete. Now moving on to the dashboard. Voila. Up here I have the iStat menu bar, which matches the uh, one I have in my menu bar. I don't mind having the long version because, I don't know, I don't mind everything just at my fingertips and just double check. I'm not actually really you know, trying to fit into the small size, because now 15 inches is pretty spaced out. Moving down here, I have the widget for my HP 4580 wireless printer. It's currently not set up with my MacBook Pro yet, but once I do, I'll display all the ink levels. It's actually really, really handy. Not sure how accurate it is, but um, I like to have it. Here's my movie widget. Um, every Tuesday night is the free movie night at my local town, so I like to check the movie times and go out with buddies, watch a good movie together. And then Dropbox widget, um, love Dropbox. So this is a handy widget that goes along with the service. Just drop the document or whatever you have onto the widget on your dashboard and it'll automatically upload to the service. Love it. Up here it's the weather widget. I use probably use this one the most. It's usually set to my own hometown, but I currently have it set to New York just for video purposes. Uh, moving down is calendar, explanatory. Down here says delivery status. You can actually put in your... Um, the code you get when someone chipped out something for you, and it'll always keep it at bay so you don't have to go into your email, click the link, and go to the website. It's very handy. Uh, let's see. Down here, I have these stocks. I don't have stocks in anything, but I've done a lot of school reports, like so I have the habit of just checking up on stocks. So I have Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and Hasbro. And last but not least is the uh, translator widget, which I use for school. I'm taking Italian class, so it's very easy to switch back and forth to double check a word or a spelling or something. The only thing I don't like about this widget is that you, actually, you can't press enter to automatically get the translation. You actually have to wait until it's initially loaded. But love it. It's really handy. Dashboard overall is just a very handy uh, utility of Mac OS X. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you like the wallpaper, too. Thanks for watching.